Looking to learn about the latest technology? How does that gizmo you bought work? What are the innovations of the future? Our Gadget Girls can help. Our four Gadget Girl hosts were selected for their engineering and technology backgrounds. We took them out of their tech environment and put them in front of a television camera to guide you as we look for the newest innovations and coolest high-tech discoveries. Carolyn is a process designer in the energy industry. Sasha is a senior business analyst. Janelle is studying mechanical engineering, energy and management. And Ethel is an assistant technical engineering officer. These are the Gadget Girls. We are breaking new ground, gentlemen, letting you know that the ladies are making headway in the tech field. Join them as they decipher the latest and greatest gadgets, inventions, consumer products, and high-tech innovations, right here on Gadget Girls. Hi, welcome to Gadget Girls, your go-to TV destination for the latest and greatest in gadgets, electronics, and innovations of all kinds. I'm your host, Sasha Estrada. And I'm your host, Janelle McDougall, and we have got a great lineup for all you Gadgetarians watching today. There's definitely some hot ideas you won't want to miss. Let's start things off by getting a little nostalgic. Think back to your school days. Did you ever hate being cooped up in the same classroom as a kid? Well, today on Green Gadgets, education hits the road on the bio bus. Later, I visit Christy Digital, where they're showing me the state-of-the-art video tiles, micro tiles to be exact. These tiles will light up your world. You'll have to watch to see how. And if that idea intrigues you, listen to this. Carolyn met with Marnie McVickard from Arion Labs, where she learned about the latest in air surveillance technology that's controlled from the ground, the Arion Scout. And for all you domestic divas out there and dudes, this week we're going to show you some curious kitchen gadgets that will hopefully make your life a whole lot easier. This week, Ethel is showing us Sharp's quad pixel technology, and it's upgrading how you see color on your TV. So stay tuned. And finally, we're going to show you the history of some must-have hair gadgets. Well, it sounds great. We've got another awesome show, so let's get this rolling and take a look at our green gadget. Teaching children about science, biology, and technology can sometimes be challenging, but the BioBus can boost the fun level in educating youth. The BioBus is a mobile science laboratory. This bus travels from school to school and packs it with a class of eager learners. Once on the bus, students can explore the world around them with research-grade microscopes and travel to various locations as they learn in this eco-friendly bus. From biology to physics to chemistry and earth science, students are taught the fundamentals by PhD level scientists. The cool thing about the BioBus is that it is carbon neutral, which means its daily energy needs are provided by solar panels, a wind turbine, and an engine that runs on waste vegetable oil. Students can learn all about how the bus is powered while gaining knowledge on how to be environmentally friendly by following some of these examples. Other subjects the students learn about while on the bus include the relationship between plants and animals, alternative energy sources, and the carbon cycle and fossils. What a great way for kids to learn about the sciences and get some lessons in environmental responsibility. All aboard the BioBus! Today we're showcasing concept gadgets. These are inventions and ideas that are in the design or prototype phase and not yet out on the consumer market. But with technology moving at a fast pace, they may become a reality sooner than we think. Russian design company Art Lebedev Studio envisions the future of keyboards to resemble such models as their Optimus Tactus. The Optimus plans to be an ultra-configurable, one-sensor convertible display. It is designed not to have any physical keys which means that there is a great variety to the shape and size of the keys and functions. Commands would be controlled by touching the keys digitally, and any part of the keyboard surface could be programmed to perform such functions as displaying photos, videos, or actual full QWERTY keyboard. This means users could have the option of watching movies or TV shows directly off their keyboard. Sounds cool. Sounds really cool. The next concept could be used by cities as part of their transportation infrastructure. The Cassette Vehicle Transportation System was designed by South Korean engineer Hun Suk. This transportation device consists of two parts. The first is a personal automotive vehicle that is designed for lower speeds, short distance travel, and the other is a monorail system for long distance ventures called the MOM unit. The idea is the vehicle owner would drive the personal vehicle for short distances in urban cities, and when ready to commute long distances at greater speeds, the traveler has the option to drive their personal automotive vehicle, the cassette, right into the monorail pod. 
And when the cassette is locked into the monorail, it can be charged to prepare travelers for their drive once they've reached their destinations via the monorail mom unit. The mom unit is designed to hold up to 20 cars and it can go up to speeds of 60 kilometers per hour. Mobile phones have come a long way in terms of advancements used to keep us connected. Tokyo designer Mac Funamizu hopes his concept phone will go beyond what is currently out on the mobile market. The design of the outer cases of mobile phone is completely transparent with a touch-sensitive screen. There are two cameras installed on the front and the back of the phone, and the Tokyo designer plans to pre-program a search engine that will allow users to point at any object and have the phone recognize the object and tell you what it is. And that's it for news from around the world.